just need to pop this out just so that I can see chat better. This is the one. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. Hey, Sprinkles, how you doing? I'm fine. Good to hear. I am as okay as I can be right now with this all the news and stuff that I've gotten, it's... It's a rough time. Uh, do I want Melia and Charla? I mean, I do like... Again, I have fucking no idea <laughs> how the fuck Melia is used. I'm just gonna go back to using Chulk. <laughs> I still haven't gotten around to finishing Xenoblade. Well, I mean, like, I thought that I was gonna s just power through this game. And this game has been out for, what, half a year now? And I'm only at Aerith C. <laughs> Put the depressed Bulbous Sprite in the corner. I actually, I do have them somewhere. And how you doing, Lucy? You know what, I should just... <laughs> I should just use depressed Bulbasaur for every time I'm just depressed. <laughs> oh god, I have too many picture sources, fucking cardboard edges. All because I wanted to do that one time. No, those are those are Barney Shiro. We we're not we're not bringing in Barney Shiro right now. <laughs> you got quite a while to go. Oh yeah, I know. I know it is, I have, I am like, oh god, I don't even know, it's been so long since I've played, I don't even know how many more hours it would take, because I have been, how many hours do I have on this? Wait a minute, it was up there. Uh, Almost 20 hours to Aerith C. So at the rate I'm going in this game, I'm going to assume that I'll be somewhere around 120, 130 hours before I get anywhere close to the end. Barnishira needs to stay at the ready though. Well, he's, this is console game, so he's here all the time. He's always ready to go. I am just, son of a bitch, where the fuck is sad Bulbasaur? Huh. Let me do this. That way you guys don't see it transition over. Uh... I think that's it. Is this the one that has them? I would say the areas we need to do, but spoilers, yep. Oh yeah, no, it's like, I know exactly what areas we need to do, but I ain't gonna say anything. Um... No, that's not it. Where's Sad Bulbasaur? Where the fuck did he go? <laughs> Where, but he should be on this one. Where did Sad Bulbasaur go? Oh, did it fuck up again? Oh, it probably fucked up again. Uh, add new. Uh, no, I gotta name it Sad Bulbasaur. Because for whatever reason, sometimes, uh, it just fucks up stream element or stream labs just fucks up for whatever reason uh if i go to downloads i should be able to find it a long time ago why are you showing me a long time ago downloads the fuck <laughs> Before, why is it like this? Why is it showing me stuff that I downloaded from a long ass time ago? It's showing me my emote downloads. What the shit? <laughs> I 
Okay, where did I put... There he is. There he is. Um... Let me also, uh, hold on. Uh, if I swap back to that, there we go. Uh, let me flip him. Just so that he's looking the other way. <laughs> Wait a minute, can I just... No. No, for whatever reason I thought doing that would do it. What the hell am I the same level as you, but you're a million years ahead? Uh, because as long as you do a couple of the quests in basically Colony 9, you can pretty much go without grinding for a while. And how you doing, Daybreak? Did you press Bulbasaur as my soulmate? Oh my god. Uh, hold on. Filters. That's what I was going for. Um, scroll, color, apply, sharpen, chroma key, scaling, aspect ratio? Um, I just want to flip them. Oh, wait, there's a, if I just right click, right? Am I dumb? Property, no properties, isn't it? What the fuck do I? Ah, there we go. Transform and then flip uh, horizontal. There we go. Now you can just be there and looking on. <laughs> Ricky is so, so adorable. Ricky is so fucking adorable. I'm here to say hi. I'm in a meeting right now and I don't have my headphones plugged in so I can't hear, but I hope you have a good stream. Oh my goodness. Where's hugs? There's hugs. There's hugs for you, Thieves. I know you can't hear me, but them them hugs for yous. I've been slowly going through it, been doing the Collectopedia and the quest. Yes, doing the Collectopedia is really good because there's, I think I have it on Shulk. Yeah, Quick Step. Uh, there's another thing that you get that has Quick Step on it. I think it's like Quick Step 2. So you run at, fuck, I forget. Oh, fuck, how the fuck do I check it? Oh, fuck, I have to go in here. Uh, yeah, this one's quick step 10%, so you run 10% faster. Also, I binge the Family Guy Star Wars thing. Rogue One makes this joke in Blue Harvest and New Hope funnier. I have not watched them in so long. Uh, okay, that being clear is difficult to see. Let me just, I think it's in, fuck. No, it's visual. Uh, boxed. That's what I want. Uh, I also want it to disappear after a while. They're pretty. Oh no, I know that they are. I've watched them. I just haven't watched them in ages. Uh, Charlotte, get the fuck out of my party. <laughs> Every time I see anything ether. I'm like, mm, no, you're not, you're not here. <laughs> you're not allowed. Yeah, 33, so I'm right around where I should be. Everyone, let's go. In terms of, level. also, what's the... It oh, it is loud. Who, why is there boss music? That would be why. Okay, I gotta focus, because there's fucking boss music. Oh, Dunban, you low in health. I wasn't paying any- Oh, fuck. Never mind. Nope, nope. We got Ether Boy on deck. We ain't- we ain't fucking dealing with Ether Boy. Nope. Nope, nope. Nope. Mm, nope. No, no, no. 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 <laughs> I teleported away, so that's what happened. Uh, no thank you. I was not ready. I was not ready for a boss fight, okay? 
I was not prepared. It just rudely came up to me. It was like, hey. Yeah, you got Spike. I hate them. I hate them so fucking much. Come here. I want to get away from uh, Spiky Orb Boy because he's a fucking asshole. Oh, yeah. No, you will know her names is such a fucking good song. Uh, the, the one nice thing about this is that we have two tanks. So we got Ricky and... Oh, fuck. Dunban's at half health. That's an issue. That's okay. I'll take aggro for now. Ricky should... Ricky! I'm not doing any... Fuck. I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh, Ricky! That's so cute. We're gonna die. <laughs> Twin attack? Okay, I need speed. Eight seconds? Okay. Uh, fuck, I forgot where I have speed. Oh, who? Ricky? Nah, no, no. For fuck's sake, pick! <laughs> oh my god, I got that off at the very last second. I am doing a terrible job. I am doing a terrible fucking job. Pierce? Oh, go fuck yourself! Oh my god! We can't. Damn! I didn't have him up, but. As long as Ricky keeps aggro, we'll be. Yeah, he's done. I was not. I was not. <laughs> Basically, Territory Robert wants to know your location, but actually beatable, yeah. I've never beaten Territorial Robert. Uh, Ricky, because you got... Oh! Okay, well, I didn't give you a decent... I fucking love... I love Ricky's weapons. Holy shit, these these things are amazing. So you got you got this. You got his little like his little Muppet attack. His little Muppet thing. He's just got a fucking Dargan. <laughs> he just has a fucking Dargan. And they're different colored Dargans too. And then this one is meh, but it's it's good. Well, I'm gonna make it a fucking Dargan. <laughs> I despise Ricky and I haven't even gotten him yet. Ricky is so good. He is such an adorable character. No, aggro down. Oh god, no, 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 no. Uh tension is good. Um I mean since I want him to be doing uh well no, I'd much rather uh, fuck is there... Uh, HP is actually good for Ricky. He has a fuck ton, but he'll be fine with more. Ricky is a tank? I thought he was... Uh, no, Ricky is 100% a tank. Uh, no pun top. Yeah, he doesn't... Yeah, we don't really have any good gear to give. No, we do. Uh, spike defense. Cause look at how much look at how much health Ricky has. Ricky has six thousand seven hundred twenty-one HP. Ryan and Dunban, who are also act as tanks, uh, have five thousand. Well, Dunban is actually a little bit more of a off. Like he's he he kind of blurs the line between DPS and tank. He's still much a tank role more so than a DPS but he is a very high DPS tank. Uh, hi, fuck you. Hold on, I need to move my microphone over just a smidge.
there we go. It was bugging me. It was way too far off and I felt like I had to like lean into it and I don't, I don't want to be leaning into it. Uh, is there good things? I forget. The one thing I do like is that with uh, the Wii version, as well as the... Th Excuse me? Did they change? I do not ever once remember seeing the red light show where it'll take you in the Wii version or, or the 3DS version. I remember having to do trial and error and hoping for the best because I was literally just about to say up on the map, I'm really glad that it shows you like the path you have to take because I remember doing trial and error and being like, oh fuck and, and wondering, it's just like, oh shit, am I going the right way? Like you didn't know. Give me a burp. We can't lose. Psychics, try hard. I fucking love Ricky. Oh, he is already. Can I get that? No. I mean, he's already dead. He doesn't know it. That was actually a lot of damage. I was not anticipating that. Oh, the one thing though is that the attack. Uh, I do want to put that on Shulk so that he does more damage. Critical condition? What? What the hell was that achievement for? I mean, I'll take it, but the fuck? Uh, that was the other thing. Uh, attack plus two. I want this one. Or do I want attack's ability because they're both good? Back attack plus is staying because Chulk does a fuck ton there. Um, getting a attack stability. What's his minimum attack damage? Minimum is 629. Auto attack is 825. So that brings up to 711. Jesus. And this goes up to 961. That's almost a thousand damage on a, on a fucking auto attack. Yeah, I'll keep that. I'll take that chance. 600's okay, but almost a thousand on an auto attack. Does that actually make him the strongest now? He already was. I just made him even more stronger. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, physical defense. Shulk has more physical defense than Dunban. Okay. <laughs> Well, I have not been giving people decent armor. Uh, yeah, I'll just do ether defense. Minus 32. No, thank you. Because there's asshole orbs everywhere and I don't want to deal with asshole orbs. Uh, physical defense, 220. Uh, 319. Yeah, it's... I am actually shocked. Ricky and <laughs> Shulk have the same defense right now. I really put a lot of good gear on Shulk. There is one thing I will do. There is um, some end game gear that whenever we get there, it'll take a while. Um, I'm gonna grind for it because I fucking love it. It's one really good gear and it looks really good. Like we'll be able to uh, fucking appearance it to make whatever we're wearing look like it. But I want the actual gear. Uh, yeah, Ryan is fucking God of a tank. Uh, Charlotte, Charlotte's uh, kind of like, yeah. Ether 266, 344, yeah. Ether defense, she is, she is just better in like every way. Yeah, so Ryan is very much a physical tank. This is where the avocado art comes from, right? Wait, which avocado art, Sake? And also, how are you doing? I know you said you were feeling sick and hopefully it's not the Rona. Uh, but yeah, Sh uh, Ryan is a physical tank and Ricky is like an overall tank because he doesn't have as much physical defense as Ryan, but it's like he has more ether defense, which is fucking great. Monetary arts, uh, something Shulk always says. Avocado arts? I am trying to think of what Shulk says and I can't think of a single avocado. Oh, yeah, I'll fight them. Everyone, let's go. Don't hold back. You dare challenge him. 
<laughs> Monastery art? Oh, the Monado arts! <laughs> It's the m oh my! <laughs> ah, that was good old avocado. <laughs> the mulatto got me. I was like, wait a minute, Monado. It sounds like it. Oh, are they running? Oh, they're running to get Frendo. Oh no, they just pissed off. Oh, that's great. Yeah, I need. Oh, thank you. I was literally saying I need good, um, uh, good armor for Dunban because he's getting fucked. Monado, that's what I meant. Box, I've ever shown you the Zapdos and Vulpix back sprites. They're whack. No, I don't think so. I'm okay, thank you. I just feel like lying here though, sensitive to cold right now. Oh. I really do hope you feel better. Look at Ricky! Uh, I, do, I really do hope that you feel better, Sokka, and I really hope it's not the Rona. Yeah, Aerith Leggings are just, fuck yes. Cause now he's up to 225 and he was not there before. <laughs> uh, bleed defense is always nice. Oh wait, I gave Dunban the agi- No, that's agility, that's not quick step. Agility, um... Agility is really good because it dictates whether people will hit you or not. Hmm, these boys are one at a time, you say? I also don't have to fight them. <laughs> Fuck, I actually want to make soup. You know what, tomorrow I might make some chicken soup. I don't have any, I, I mean, I have noodles, but they're not the same. I don't have egg noodles or like, I could make noodles, but I already made noodles for another dish and I don't want to fucking make noodles again. Those are, those take time and effort and I don't want to do, I don't want to commit any of that <laughs> to making noodles right now. But yeah, I definitely want to make some chicken soup. I have some chicken bones that I've been s freezing because I wanted to get enough so that I could use them. I don't know if I'm there yet, but I do have chicken uh, bouillon cubes, so I can just chuck that in. So I could do that. I got, no, I don't have any celery. I need some celery. I do have carrots though. Oh fuck, I might make chicken soup, holy shit. I got the ingredients. I know what I'm gonna do tomorrow. <laughs> chicken bones for what? Black magic? No, you use you use chicken bones to make stock. So I'm not I'm not committing any of the black arts, although I do want to. Um <laughs> Reaper? What? Why does this little Jawa of a creature have such a powerful name for a move? Well, that's not good. <laughs> oh, he got locked on and he got... Oh, he... Okay, we're back. Yeah, that sounds nasty. Is that where all the delicious... Yes, that is where all the delicious flavor comes from. Oh, Dunban's dead. Dunban's alive. You're fine. But yeah, the... It's... It's the bones that generally is what gives chicken stock its flavor. It's not meat or anything. It is the bones. It is the bones of the creature. So not only, so not only did we uh, take <laughs> take a chicken's unborn young and coat its meat in it, but we also take their bones to make soup. I was also reading about kaijus. I didn't know Mothra was considered a good monster or a girl. Yeah, she is. 
That is, Mothra is actually the name, especially, like, if I get a Venonat, I always want to try and get a female one, because I will always name it Mothra. So whenever it's male, I'm like, ah, it sucks, oh well, Mothra it is. <laughs> oh, I'm, ooh, I am shocked I got that. I thought I was too far in front of it to get the defense down. How heavy does the Monado look? I feel like the Monado has to be a good... Oh god, I don't even know. Like, it's definitely stronger than... Nah, we're fine. I got backslash. Um... Oh god, it, it definitely looks like it weighs a lot. Like, it... It does not look like something that you can just freely swing around. So I would say somewhere in the range of God, I'd pro like this thing's big too. I'd say probably around 20 pounds, like probably four times the weight of like a sword. Fuck you. We ain't dealing with your shit. Also, Boxer, there is a male Mothra. Mothra, oh, well, now I know what to name male Venonets. Ricky, ah, oh, shit. See, this is why I need Charla. <laughs> There's also the gifting, which I always fucking forget. Which I always forget how to do. Heart to heart, we do have one. Oh, fuck, we have Shulk and Ryan. Uh, Tefra Cave, Bionis Leg. Yeah, that's not happening. I've never gotten Charla and Dunban up to that, ever. <laughs> I've never gotten Charla up to anything on anyone because every time Charla comes up, it's just like, mm, I'd rather not. Because uh, you don't need a dedicated healer in this game. And that's what Charla is. Charla is a dedicated healer and you don't need one. Because what? Do I have light heal? Yeah, I can probably level it up. Oh, hells yes. Which I do need to. Bam. Um, Stream edge is good. I should level that up. Uh, Air slash shaker edge. Shaker edge's cooldown is quite long. How does it? Oh, by three seconds? Oh, hells yes. I'm gonna do that immediately. Is Mothra Leo one of the Mothra babies? Does she have baby? Yeah, does Mothra have babies? Uh, oh, I <laughs> this boy is a little maxed out. <laughs> oh wait, Tempest Kick? Oh fuck, Tempest Kick is actually pretty good. I'm gonna have to go through his stuff and figure out. Gale Slash does bleed. Worldly Slash uh, is a two attack combo. So does he do 681 to 943 on both hits or in total? But also after Gale Slash down, it does strength down and hit does physical defense. Down. Yeah, that thing's staying. Uh, electric Gut Buster uh, inflicts break. Tempest Kick, Airways deal damage, removes enemy buffs after Gale Slash. Okay. Blinding Blossom and uh, Impressive Exploits draw aggro from a party member to Dunban. Uh, you know what? Just because we don't really use you as a deep, as a tank right now, I'm probably going to take that off. Uh, peaceful and focused aura that increases accuracy and evasion. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to make him a little bit more of a... Uh, actually, no, I want it. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Uh, of a little bit more of a DPS, like he still has tank things. But I'm okay with that. All hail King Ghidorah, <laughs> but the janky original one. So Mothra got old in the first Super with Mothra movie and laid an egg in case she died. <gasps> Baby Mothra. 
What do we got? Yeah, I didn't think so. Yeah, I can. Oh God. Oh sweet Jesus. We got. We got Ryan, and and Charlotte. We we got we got Charlotte to level up. Again, I don't. I don't use Charlotte, so I never know really what's good other than the heal things. Heal blast is large amount. Yeah, heal bull. No wait. Storing some large amount. Oh, heal round is the AOE. Heal blast is the uh, high amount, low amount. Uh, cure bullet removes a debuff. Shield bullet. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> I really don't know how to upgrade Charla in the slightest. Ah, oh, God, I wish I could use Melia because she is supposedly the best character like she is overpowered as shit if you know how to use her and i don't so i just don't because <laughs> i don't know what i'm doing isn't it cool to scary to think uh there could be a giant monster looking somewhere on earth i'm always hoping that fucking dragons will just pop up and be like hey How's it going? And then uh, no one else will kill them. And then uh, everyone will be sad. Especially me. Because I want a dragon friend. Oh yeah, also ocean creatures are fucking terrifying. That too. Eventually Mothra dies fighting a Ghidorah and the egg hatches into Mothra Leo. Ooh, baby Mothra. Oh shit, we're at the, the fucking hell no! We're not at the end. This isn't gonna take us. No, I don't think it does. Who are these guys? Are those wings on their head? They must be high end here. Welcome home, Lady Melia. Lady. Huh? This isn't the thing that takes us up. To it, is Thank it? Thank you, Captain. These homes and this Nopon are my guests. See them safely to the guest quarters. Give them anything they need. As you wish. What's going on? I have no idea. Lucy, don't idea. make chicken soup out of Mothra. Melia, are you... You don't make soup out of insects, though. Melia. I cannot. Speak That's how now, you get some dubious I food. I understand. I will arrange for an audience with the emperor. Will you wait? We won't move an inch. Trust me. My thanks. Ah, oh, shit. I guess this is the way up to the city. I thought we still had like four teleporters to go. Maybe that's just because on the Wii version. No, I'm positive that there's more. Lady Melia, he says. Shulk, you're thinking the same as me. Whatever her position is here, Melia won't let us down. I'm sure you're right. <gasps> more of these guys. I do love their shields and armor. They look really fucking cool. We got all these cleavage and not one peck in sight. <laughs> oh, when you put it like Can that. defeat to his majesty and request entry to Prison Island. Shulk is depending on me. I must hurry to the audience chamber. Oh, that's right. We do play as Melia up here. God, this section of the game, I don't re really remember all that well. Also, this is a really cool looking place. Did you see, did I, did you see what? 
What did you see, Lucy? You say the second consort's child survived her ordeal? Forgive me, first consort. I, Tyrea, vow to see your orders fulfilled. Whilst she's in the capital, do not underestimate the Sent lengths you to which his oh, majesty okay. and the child's loathsome goons will go. How, pray tell, will you avoid the guards? I will do whatever it takes. Oh, you're stupid. Wait, is that Vulpix's? Oh my oh, god. Yes. Enough of your drivel. We will have our chance when she stakes her claim to the throne. Zapdos is actually looks really close to his, like, leaf green version. It's actually not that far off. Oh, I forgot how jank Growlithe looked. <laughs> I forgot. Prison Island gets Sonic Adventure 2 flashbacks. Oh, God. Yes, there is a place called Prison Island. No, it is not the same. <laughs> Also, I'd like to point out, you can kind of see it on the Switch version. I'm kind of upset that they didn't add more NPCs here. But this was on the fucking Wii and the 3DS. They somehow downgraded a game that shouldn't have worked on the Wii and made it run on the 3DS in this whole fucking huge place and the city were all loaded in on the Wii. Also, this mural, I fucking love it. It is a mural depicting the fight between the Mechonis and the Bionis, and I just, I just love it. I don't know, I've never played these games. The Xenoblade games are... <laughs> I was about to say really good, but I have issues with X or cross and uh, two. I have a, a little bit less of an issue with two now that I know how to abuse the system because the way that you fight in two is you abuse the system. It is not designed for the fast combat that fans found out how to do. It was not designed with that in mind at all. But... The combat in 2 is much better now, uh, now that I know how to do fast combat. Uh, Character-wise, uh, characters still bug me. Melia Antiqua, first princess, has returned, your majesty. Raise your head. Your majesty. It's Pokemon? Wait, what's Pokemon? The Telethia rained havoc on countless veteran knights. <laughs> You triumphed where they could not. <laughs> I find it difficult to suppress these feelings of pride for you, my kin. Two, oh, Majesty, Xenoblade 2? I failed to return yeah. with any of the subjects you entrusted to me. My inexperience cost them their lives. Although my issues we with Cross, um... Them. But it could not are a little bit alleviated because in Cro like the, I have two big issues with fighting. Cross and two. They were all aware of your limits. And that's the health on the enemies are just way too fucking Emperor. high. Keep those feelings of It makes a little bit more sense it in Cross you because you get a Gundam. You those that have fallen. And many of the enemies are designed in I'm mind that you're going to be fighting them in a Gundam. The Homs and Nopon that accompanied you to the capital. They have been arrested by Imperial security. Yeah, that's unfortunate for us. Shulk and his companions? Yes, for reasons pertaining to the weapon this Shulk possesses. Define, you, you literally get a mobile suit. So you literally true. get a mobile suit and cross. If that weapon is truly the Monado, we shall be forced to take action. At first, it, it, at first it's a transformer who can drive there around legend, uh, and then it eventually flies and you get laser swords guns and everything it's a straight up mobile suit it is said that like 100 percent, it's a mobile suit bestows the blade upon a chosen one however if the chosen one is black of heart he will cause the destruction of the high entia among high entia exist the good and bad alike homs and nopon are no different if this boy is the chosen one 
the divine seer's I mean, I'm very much the chosen one. I'm the <laughs> Shulk is the main protagonist of a JRPG. We must. Father, I mean, your majesty. He's definitely the chosen I'm one sure of the game. As my successor, you will play a role of great importance. Calm your spirit and be patient. Why does this sound like 14? Uh, because the High Antia talk in a much more formal matter. Dear sister, I can see the Emperor's words <clears throat> have confused you. My uncle wants to send me a Happy New Year message on the second. Leave me alone. Brother. Actually, you know what? Chat box, you're not. His Majesty has spoken. He recognizes Let's you. Let's keep messages around for princess. like 30 seconds. You are to be the next ruler of the High Entia. Me? And not you? Yes. The Emperor asked for my counsel. And I told him, as I tell you Pure now, box screen because he's you will make room. a fine <laughs> Empress. It, there is no one more suited to leading our people. You proved that when you dispatched the Telethia. I don't know what to... Melia. But the soldiers? I am not fit to rule. I should visit their families and beg for pardon. Melia, you know that this is not allowed. This down there. I know. But it does nothing for the guilt I feel. It is as the Emperor said. Grieve their departing and engrave in your heart their great deeds. I will. There, that should look a bit You are now. right to question these things, but take pride in who you are. The Emperor has chosen one. Look, Mama, I'm on TV. <laughs> To be crown princess. Yes, you are. I still love that. I the love that Vulpix emote. It's so cute. Of his Majesty's decision. I, Minister Lorithea, have no objection to your appointment. I understand. Man, now I'm realizing just how much fucking cleavage is in this game, and not many pecs. But the wielder of the Monado, the Chosen One, might be a useful tool. You think so too? Yes, but a lowly servant of the realm such as myself could never question his majesty. However, Do some of Melia's family members look evil. Uh, Lorathea is not a uh, member of the sure. royal family. They should be exchanging words as she's we speak. like a noble woman idiot bird brains what do we do pex her new meta we need more pex a fancy prison is still a prison it is a very fancy prison what happened to Melia? I don't see her locked up in here with us. Exactly. She's in on this. Shulk. Are we on the head for decoration or can they actually fly? Um... Melia won't let us down. She promised to take us to Prison Island. I honestly don't and she's remember. she's not the kind of person to break a promise. Okay, Shulk. You win. I believe you. If you believe like, I Elliot, honestly do not remember if they me. can fly or not. I honestly don't remember. Like, I'm trying to think of all the cutscenes and stuff that I can remember of them. And I don't remember if they can or not. Right. Uh, we've never had any contact with the Hyantia before. Perhaps they're being conscious just as we would. Ricky, what's up? Hmm? Uh, Shulk, you have, you know, have to worry. Uh, bird people, not bad. Yes. Uh, the ones who came to meet Melia were also wearing those masks. What in the world is going on? 
And our boy, best boy, Ryan. What is all this? How can they treat us like this? That Melia chick. You are sure we can really trust her, right? You are to be interrogated by the Divine Seer. Stand back. It's Alvis. Alvis? What are you doing here? I see. So that is why you are here. Is Melia okay? We didn't mean to cause her any trouble. Probably, wait, probably both? Rest assured, she is that. fine. The real oh, reason the, the, the decoration or can they actually fly? You, outsiders. you don't mean... Yes. The Monado. You see, the High Entia and the Monado go back many years. Millennia, in fact. Ah. Oh. Leave everything to me. I shall see to it that you are not held for long. Oh, Alvis is such a bro. We cannot have the saviors of her highness treated as criminals now, can we? Free these people. I shall take responsibility for their actions whilst inside the capital. They are now guests of the Imperial family. Oh, he's such a Sir, bro. I am required to report to his majesty. Otherwise, I would escort you around the capital. Use this room at your leisure. You are free to roam the city or stay here and rest. Farewell. Hold on, Alvis. <laughs> that that run-up animation always made Be me patient. chuckle at just, <laughs> at just how JRPG it, it is. Ask. Do not fear. You will learn when the time is right. The life of the rich. So where are we going? Anywhere but here. I was about to say wherever we want to. Okay then. Ricky, find Melly for Shulk. Ricky, wait. Your Eminence. For what God? Wait, want? we're Eminence. How did we get that if powerful here? Elvis, he's gone. Oh no, what? Alvis. Where did he go? That makes sense. <laughs> what happened? We received an SOS from a small squadron repairing a transporter at Aerith Sea. But the transmission was interrupted, and we have lost all contact with the squadron. Sounds like they need our help. Sure, can Ricky go help? Ricky and friends help people in trouble. Of course. We're happy to help. But you're outsiders. I'm realizing that I might Soldier end up being man, not worry. low Careful level Ricky soon. Is here to save the day. It is most appreciated. We need all the help we can get. Yeah, I'm fine with this. Uh, one thing we need to do is we need to get... Uh, some armor and stuff. Am I able to look? Damn. Oh, that's right. We're outside and it's a bubble. Fuck, I'm trying to remember the name of the city. I want to say like Alchemoth. Am I even right? How the fuck do I fast travel again? Alchemoth! I'm right! Holy shit! And I just realized that this is redone music. There are vocals to this song, which there weren't before. Because if I go over to... Wait, 
faded out. Yep. No, not the entire soundtrack. Most of the soundtrack has been redone. Not every single one has been redone. Welcome. I do need to talk to people and get to know them. Uh, I don't know what I can do to stop him from overdoing it. If he carries on like this, he'll injure a lot more than his back. I might have to do something drastic to stop him. Affinity chart. Wait a minute. The fuck? There's already an affinity? Oh, okay. I was like, excuse me? How the fuck do we already have an affinity for you? Oh, God. I don't have anything for the Nopon. I got Ford Nopon. Oh, no. But I do like that they've redone the soundtrack because yes. the one thing I will say about Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is that the music in there is fucking amazing. Oh, you're just yes. Monster Hunter quest. Cool. Give them all. Give them all. I'll take all the money. Yes. Yeah, I could go back to uh, Mac. Oh God, excuse me. Uh, Magna Forest and do not on quests as well. Oh yeah, there's, there have been a couple of soundtracks that I think haven't been touched. Cause I don't think Colony 9 was touched. I think they're the same soundtrack. Oh, well, cool thing. I want to explore. <laughs> uh, this is another person that I want to talk to so that I can get my affinity chart going. Welcome. Yeah, there's pesky back. Oh, oh, these two. They have the connection. Oh, okay. Actually, what? Oh, and because I've spoken to him, now I'll get a quest, and this one Welcome. should give me experience. Because it's a named character. I should get experience for this. I should have had Sharla and Melia. Fuck. Yay, experience. Yeah, I don't I don't normally do like I'm not going to read all of the quests and stuff because there's there's a lot of text in them. And I just want to chill, do quests, do some main story, have fun, chat to you guys. Because, yeah, I still I still don't know how long I'm going to be streaming today just because I'm very tired. I am very I'm like physically exhausted. Oh, Melia is not here. Never mind. <laughs> uh, with that, uh, I'll actually get Ricky. Yes. Because every now and then there will be a quest line or something that pops up. Yes. Okay, these are just the. Is this a collection? Oh, no, this is another monster. Defeat monster quest. Yes. Which again, I will just take all of them. Uh, I do need to buy armor. Because that is one thing we are desperately, desperately need. Are you that? Um. Swimming top. Sky top. I was about to say should be pretty much an upgrade on everyone. Yeah, that's what happens when you don't do quests. Yeah, that's a... Is a bad. Fox, when you're not screaming, your voice is very nap-soothing. See, okay, so... I... 
I've wanted to go. So I recorded some of the ASMR stuff and then I realized what I wanted to do and I didn't record it the way that I'm like, oh shit, this would make it a lot better. Box when you're not moaning, I want to die. <laughs> what? Um, so I need to, so I want to re-record it, but I haven't sat down and done, oh, it wasn't, uh, it was legs. Sky bottoms, yeah. Um, so basically what I want to do is, um, as like, if I'm reading like general stuff, it'll be straight on. But when I'm doing a conversation, I want it to be coming from different areas on my microphone. So it's just like, if it's between two people, say like Gandalf and Bilbo, then it's like, I'll have Gandalf and coming in from one ear, Bilbo from another. The other thing is I, whenever I do edit it, I'm also gonna, like, I'm gonna do voices for it, but I'm also gonna edit it so that my voice is deeper and stuff. So that it's just like, it's like, oh, this is what Gandalf sounds like. This is what Bilbo sounds like. It's like, I'm gonna try and keep that consistent. It will drive me insane, but I do want to do that. Cause also this place is fucking huge. <laughs> It is fucking ginormous. Um, but yeah, that. So I have to re-record and get that done. But yeah, right now all I'm doing is running around and grabbing, uh, just the um, just the named NPCs, and you can find them on the map just by the green dot, because this guy doesn't have a green dot, he's just random NPC. This person, though, Me. she's got a green dot on the map, so she a named character. So, yeah, I want to, I gotta re-record that. Um, the other thing is, so, I, I mentioned it a little bit, but it's like, I do want to, have I fucking Me. spoken to you? So one thing I want to do is, like I mentioned how it's like a little while ago, it's like I want to do more edited content as well. So I'm gonna be like focusing in on stuff and... Uh, uh. Have my memories destroyed me already? Already Wasn't Othar undead? Where, where are you in the game, Lucy? Like, how far are you in the game right now? There we go, I was hoping. So since the stream isn't edited, isn't edited, is this the unedited, un unrated content? Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's like, that's what I want to do, like, highlight yes. reels and stuff, because there's some crazy ass shit that happens that I'm like, I really want, because the other thing is, is I do want to grow this year. Like, I was completely content with where we were, and there would be times where I'm like, eh, maybe I want to grow, maybe I don't, but it's like, this, like, I, I I'm like, I do want to grow. <laughs> <laughs> this channel like I want to meet new people. I want I want our community to grow I want to meet all the new beans I'm at Magna Forest. And I'm doing colony six reconstruction. Oh, yeah, no, he's good <laughs> It's definitely your brain uh, playing trick. Also, they have a moving stairway. It's wonderful I'm a big techno capital. Oh, you're still there. Lucy, you know what I mean. <laughs> but yeah, it's like I want to grow like this channel. I want to grow the community. It, it, it is one of my goals for 2021. Another one. <laughs> another goal is to get my head on straight because I'd like to not 
be depressed well? and stuff because it's like I did, uh, you haven't bothered that much it's true speaking of games i need to beat this game called american mcgee what the fuck is that game but yeah it's like i want to grow the ch obviously this is not a game to do that <laughs> to grow the channel because this is very much a dead game on twitch but it's like i just today i just really needed something to sit down and just chill out with um breath of the wild is another one that i could do play mine i i actually do want to play minecraft because <laughs> uh like it's it's a like it's a really chill game and i'm bad at it then it's great <laughs> i actually haven't played a legit like an updated version of Minecraft in I don't know how many years. So it's it's just funny that it's just like because I know that the last big thing that they changed was like swimming and shit and I still don't know what the fuck they meant by that or whatever because I haven't touched it. I want to see brown brick in mind. Wait, brown brick? Wait, what? <laughs> what? I'm confused. I don't know what the fuck that is. Like, it would literally be the... <laughs> it would literally be a boomer playing Minecraft and being like... Because here's the thing. I don't know how the fuck to tame a horse. <laughs> I don't know. I just know, doggo, you give bone. Uh, chimkins, you use seeds to breed the chimkins, and you throw chimkin eggs at the wall, and you get chimkins. Oh my god, he's swimming! <laughs> I was wondering why I couldn't jump. It's because Ricky was swimming in this tiny little shallow water. Oh my god, that's so cute. Oh, that's adorable. I had no clue that happened. They fu- They what? They fully updated the nether? What does that even mean? What is there now? All I need to do is get you interested in this pick based on the game. Oh, that's just Alice Returns to Wonderland thing. Al Madness of Alice. I've seen that. I've never played it. I've never really been interested by it. American McGee's Alice is basically a dark... Yeah, I know, it's a dark take on it. Like, I've seen... So, oh, we did the quest. Nice. <laughs> like, I've seen uh, gameplay from it from years ago, but it never interested me. There's four... Wait, there's forests? In the nether net? What the fuck do you mean forests? There's also... I need to play it. There's bees. I, I need to play it. Bees are the best thing in the world. Bees are the best boys. They go buzz buzz and they make honey and they pollinate everything. Can I do that? Big chunky bee. Can I have an army of bees? Like I, I just like I don't even mean like for them to attack. I mean, can I just have a farm of bees? That's all I ask. Is that is that a possibility? So, that's all I'm wondering. Because if I can, I want I want all the chunky bees. And we'll have Sir Chonkington of Buzz Buzz, uh, ruler of Buzzington. <laughs> You can have a honey farm with bee- Okay, well, we're gonna have to have Sir Chonkington of Buzz Buzz, uh, leader- <laughs> Owner of Buzz Buzz. Oh, of Buzzington, we need it. That's- that's a thing that we need. That's a thing that we need. It is happening. It is 100% happening. 
I literally just went and clicked clip that so I could remember uh, Sir Chonkington of Buzz of Buzz Buzz ruler of Buzzington. So now that I know that I kind of want to play it. Well, me and me and Jay have been actually talking about doing Minecraft. Yes. Because there have been shit when we were playing uh, Pixelmon. Because uh, he had a server and it didn't allow flying. So it's like if you got into a battle in the air, um, it would it would kick you out because it was like, oh, you're flying. That's a no, no. So it <laughs> so it kicked him out. And uh when uh, he he lo he logged back in. Okay, I guess I'm doing the quest. Uh, when he logged back in, <laughs> uh, he fell from a height that was too high because he was flying on a Charizard, fighting something. And then he logged back in, and then on my screen, all you just see is him go splat, and he dies, and I fucking and we both just fucking lost it. So it's just like the shit that happens whenever me and Jay play games is just that not like it, it's just shit happens nonstop. And then he'll always be like, why aren't you streaming? And it's like, because it's not a stream day. Because <laughs> uh, that also happened when we played Terraria, because we don't know a single fucking thing about Terraria. We still don't. We're like, ooh, we have stuff. And then <laughs> Jay's girlfriend, who had played Terraria, is just like, oh yeah, there are classes. And we're like, what the fuck do you mean classes? And it's just like, oh yeah, there's like melee, range, magic, some other thing. And we're like, what the fuck do you mean? Hey. Yeah, I need to do quests because I need money. <laughs> so I'm literally just grabbing all the quests I can. Also, uh, all of the... Uh, collectopedia things that I can see. But yeah, it's just like, oh god, yeah. I definitely need to play Minecraft now because I don't think Jay. No, look at all these people just playing in the water. Yeah, I don't think Jay knows about that shit either. <laughs> so that'll be fun. And the title will just be Two Boomers Play Minecraft. <laughs> because here's the other thing that really solidifies that me and Jay are just boomers. Is, um, so we followed, uh, like, tutorials on how to what make, look at those, look at the, wait, which boys? Which boys, Lucy? I don't know what boys you're talking about. The boys I said. Oh, okay. I didn't know. <gasps> boys! Oh my god, they're real chunky boys! Oh my god. Oh, they're such chunkers. <gasps> them okay well we're gonna be playing minecraft at some point <laughs> so so back to back to how me and jay are fucking boomers so we followed the uh tutorial explanations on how to build a minecraft server for your friends to a t and we couldn't get it to work <laughs> and we're like what the fuck is happening we put in like the IP addresses and everything. We did all of the things. And every single time we tried to join, it just wouldn't connect. And we're like, what the fuck is happening? So it's just like, I set up one, uh, like the server worked and everything. It's just that no one could join it. And we're like, what the fuck? So Jay did one. And then I couldn't join. We're like, what the fuck? So, and we, we followed like six or seven different tutorials and we skim through them all and we're like each one says the exact same thing so we don't know what the hell's going on and so Jay's is just like hold on no wait I got I got a 22 year old friend let me ask him 
because he's the one who runs like uh, his other group of friends Minecraft server. And he's like, oh yeah, you need to do this one thing. And Jay's like, that's fucking it. He's like, yeah. It's like, you have everything set up correctly. It's just this one thing you need to do. And we're just like, what? <laughs> because, okay, so the one thing that we needed to do <laughs> was, uh, there was uh, at a point where it's like every single one said to give uh, a specific IP address. So it's like we put in that IP address and then Jay's friend was just like, no, 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 no. You have to put in like the what other IP address that's over here. And we're like, but we followed the recipe. And he's like, yeah, well, they're wrong. <laughs> and then so Jay, so Jay gave me uh, the it's not. Oh, fuck. I forget which IP address it is. It's not your IP address. It's like. The, it's like the public IP address. So it's like we put that in and it was like, oh shit, now it works. <laughs> and we were so frustrated and we we're just like, oh fuck, we're boomers. <laughs> we realize there and then just how much of a boomer we were. Okay, I think it's a decent amount of quests and stuff. IP address of notch at all times. Uh, I want Frontier Village. I want Alchemoth. Uh, Cypher and a Machine. Because, uh, yeah, most of these should be like in Aerith Sea. Satoral Marsh. Aerith Sea, Aerith Sea. Yeah, like the vast majority of them are from Aerith Sea. So I wouldn't mu actually I'm going to. Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute, that's a red in. I want that. That's a quest completion marker. But yeah, so we just didn't fucking know. <laughs> and then we got to play Pixelmon together, and that was fun. Playing Pixelmon together is so much more fun than playing by yourself. Because that's the only thing that I've ever played uh Minecraft for in like the last few years is Pixelmon. So being it so it's like we went off on a Pokemon journey. We had Pokemon music. It was great. We I caught a Swablu. I had a Piplup. It was awesome. There's Minecraft B plus. Jeez, I need it. Out there and there's some of the most things I need it. I need it. That's that's not a question. I need it. I need it in my life. Okay, are these teleporters that work? Or they don't? Because I don't ever remember seeing teleporters here. Do they function? They don't. Some of the most wholesome things. They, they seem like that they would be super wholesome and I need them in my life. Why must you cut out words lately? Your phone? Cause I'm like looking at it, I'm like wholesome mate. There, it's just phone being a bitch. Yeah, 27,000 gold for doing qu I need to do more quests. Hello. I spoken to you? Nope. <laughs> uh, do I get Malia? I don't think so. You're, yeah, you're a robot. Uh, let me see if there's any more shit. <laughs> No! Get out of the water, <laughs> Ricky! You're too small, you can't jump. But yeah, I think this is a named quest, so we should also get not only money, but experience. Which is awesome. What yeah. is name person? Thank you for finding my- Wait, we were finding his son? Oh, no. Oh my god, 2300 experience points? 
Hells yes. What is okay, it? who did you lose now? This is the moment of your time. I have another favor to ask. It's my daughter. <laughs> She's gone missing. Oh my god, you. You need to keep better track of your kid. Ooh, strength up four? Ooh. Can I? <laughs> I was about to say, is she like super close by? And the answer is yes. We've gotten quite a bit of cool lemons, so. Come and see. I was just playing hide and seek. Daddy worries too much. I'm the king of bees. Prop. No. I am the king of bees. No, that's not true. I'm Lord of Boxes. But I can have a box in the shape of a Minecraft bee and therefore be Lord this? of the Bee Boxes. Uh, I was about to say, I'm like, I'm pretty sure Shulk should be the... Ah, uh, shit, I haven't walked there. Damn it. There is a... Have I spoken to you, small child? Who is just the same height as Ricky? The one thing, though, that I, I actually really love about uh, the affinity chart is that it tells you how old people are. And if you look at these people... Uh, she's 118 years old. Uh, this old gentleman is 357 years old. The High Entia are a super long living race. And this tiny, tiny child is 58 years old. Like, the children are s fucking... 56. No, that does not mean they're legal. They're very much not. They're still children. Age 33. With that mindset, Lucy, baby Yoda is legal because he's 50. We ain't. No. Baby Yoda is not legal in the slightest. It's 100%. Wheezy, no! <laughs> No! No! I wouldn't have fucking told Yoda either way. Fair, but no! You don't know age of consent. We are not having this discussion. It is a no. It is still a child. This is a no. I want, I want more collect collectibles. I want them all. Actually, I haven't checked in a while. Actually, I haven't checked it all here. Oh my god, I got all of them. Did that item say ha ha ha? Yes. Ha ha ha. Uh, Ricky seems to enjoy naming this. It's some kind of furry white creature, and he named it a ha ha ha, which I find funny. I love I love reading this stuff because it literally shows you that um, they're coming along and just naming shit. So it's like the, it's just like <laughs> the the Hyantia could be like, oh yes, that is a uh, Willypede or something for the ha ha ha, and Ricky's just like, no, it's a ha ha ha, and that's just it. Wow, I did not do any sort of. Mm, I'm gonna have to go back and fill out the Collectopedia. Because, yeah, Magna Forest, we didn't do any. Bionis Interior, well, that's fine. Uh, Ether Mine, oh, shit, that's right. Everything else should be 100%. I hate going to the Ether Mine, though. It has the worst fucking music in this game, and I will fucking stand by that. Still gonna collect things, though. <laughs> 
Okay, so I should be able to get another landmark up ahead. Should be able to. Also, Wheezy, how are you doing today? <laughs> I didn't even ask because I was just like, no. This should be a Yeah, there we go. Ah, yes, the Xenoblade, the Xenios of blades. Hey, Cindergab, how are you doing today? I'm literally just running around and getting quests. <laughs> That's all that's happening. Because I just need, uh, I just needed a game that I can mellow out to. Oh, you are a rare quest. Very rarely do, oh, because it was a find, a pre it was a search thing. That's why it had experience. Very rarely do non-named NPCs give experience and it's always a search quest. Poor boy. Okay, I like how you kind of found out that Aeoli is just another form of mayonnaise. Why is Technocab? It's confusing to navigate. Doing good, got a lot done in Hollow Knight. Oh, Hollow Knight's so much fun. That's such a fun game. It's hard as fuck though. Okay, that should be, well, it's not everywhere. Yeah, I was just about to say, I'm like, I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a fuck ton of quests up here. I fight shit, god damn it. <laughs> Someone get me Hollow Knight? I will fucking do that. I will very easily get it for you for Steam. Because I can't get it for you for Switch. Which I have it for. What is it? It's a very sick man. Yes, it's uh, it's so much fun. It's just oh god. I love my I should really play through Symphony of the Night. How's things? I have never played through Symphony of the Night to its entirety because I get <laughs> I get I get so frustrated because I'll forget to save in that game and then I'll die and then I'll be like okay well I, I didn't lose too much progress and then I realize that I lo lose like an hour and a half play Bloodstain does Bloodstain I okay I mean I could get it for Switch, but does it run well on Switch, Lucy? Because I know you have it for it. It's in like half a year at this rate, but I will still get it for you. It's excellent now? Okay. Because I knew that uh, when it first came out, it ran really poorly on Switch. And right now I think it's on sale on Steam though, so I might end up getting it on Steam. just because the Christmas sale or winter sale or whatever it is, is still going on. It's still going on for three more days or two days. I don't remember if it ends on the fifth or it still happens on the fifth. They did graphical adjustments and they're still rolling out. Oh, they're still rolling out DLC? Oh shit. Wait a minute, there was a, oh, that's very far. Fuck, I pressed the wrong button. Not fun. Uh. Oh, I've apparently already spoken to Call. So yeah, that's good to know. I should also download the the prequel to Bloodstained. It was the oh fuck, what was it for? I mean, I know it's for like system, but I forget what it's called. I just know that it plays like old school Castlevania, which is fucking hype. Curse of the Moon and Curse of the Moon 2. Oh, wait, wait Egg Farm? My brain, why my brain do this? I no remember. I haven't played them. I mean, here's the, I'm also really bad at Castlevania, but I fucking love it. Uh, 
I'm just gonna... Can I, can I actually not jump up on this? Son of a bitch! I thought I could, but I couldn't. Can I... No! Wow! Wow! I thought I'd be able to jump off! But I can't! Is this a teleport? Nope. <laughs> nope. It gives you an egg hat to ruin cutscenes with? No, I don't remember that at all. <laughs> like, at all. Like, I don't even know. What the shit? Oh, that's still call. I don't want to talk to you. Um, are there any more? Uh, I got to swap time. And more cut, more quests. Ricky, what were you doing over there? Me. I don't even know what the egg cat it is. It's the egg emote? What? <laughs> I am... Sprinkles, I am so lost right now. I am... I am... I don't know what you're talking about at all. You can get squeak. What? What? <laughs> oh, and bloodstain. Okay, I thought you were talking about Xenoblade, and I was just like. Excuse me? <laughs> I was thinking that there was some... <laughs> I was thinking that there was some hat that was an egg. And I was like, what? <laughs> I was losing my goddamned mind. I was wrapped... I was trying to wrap my brain around the universe and trying to figure out where there's an egg hat for Xenoblade. Oh my god, there's no egg. I, that's what I was, I was, my brain was like, but there isn't an egg hat in Xenoblade. What is, what is Sprinkles on about? I don't fucking think that ruins the library dude's cutscene, but yeah. Okay, I do remember, I do remember those now. I now, I know what you're talking about now. <laughs> oh, you're actually down below. The fuck? Mmm, I didn't think I'd actually be able to jump. Sidekicks. Finish fight. I... I thought you land at one. No, I'm thinking of two. That's right, because if you could do that, you could abuse the shit out of that in this game. I forgot. <laughs> Whoops. I completely forgot about that. I thought you landed at one, but that's, I'm pretty sure that's Xenoblade 2, where if you jump from a hall, tall, uh, tall height, as long as you are not in combat, you will land at one HP. And then in yeah. Xenoblade Cross, you don't take any fall damage. I'll be making my soul boot now. Oh yeah. I I need to make meat tomorrow. I have like pork chops that have been in my freezer for like over a month now. And I'm like, mm, I should eat these. Cause I've wanted, <laughs> so also Lucia, go enjoy, go, enjoy your soba noodles. Enjoy them soba nudes. 
Um, but yeah, I have been wanting to basically do a fried pork chop. My freezer is absolutely packed. Yeah, my freezer is packed too. I have two uh, containers of chicken that I need to start cooking. Because I haven't, I, I need to, I, need, I love chicken, but I'm also just like, there's a part of me that just doesn't want to cook it for some reason. I don't even understand why when I love chicken. Like, I am perfectly fine with having chicken and broccoli for days. I can bunker down and I'd be fine a couple weeks. Um, I'd probably be fine if I were to like actually make food and everything. What is like, I'd definitely be fine. Like, I don't have enough, like my freezer is not big enough to have like enough stuff that I could eat off of for longer than, well, I could eat off of it for a good week or so, probably a bit more than a week. Yeah, especially with the amount of chicken that I have and the amount of veggies that I have in there. Yeah, I could definitely eat off of it for like a couple of weeks. I could, but I like making things. I love cooking. Cooking's fucking awesome. I do, oh God, I don't know when I'll do another cooking stream. I do want to do another one though. I just don't know when. You should be, you're not on the ground floor. Then where the, oh, I know where you are. You're in that bubble across the way. That's where you are. I was wondering why it didn't make sense. It's because you're in the fucking bubble. That's where the other quest is. But yeah, I, God, I have, I just want to make, I want to have like a breaded pork chop, like katsu curry. That'd be great. I might end up buying rice. I don't normally eat rice just because I'm not a huge fan of rice. But if I want like a katsu curry or something, I'm going to need rice. I mean, I could also be that guy and just use noodles, but no, that's that's lame. right now even with all the dirty dishes just sitting there oh my god i spent i legitimately spent Me. like because again i uh, got hit with depression kind of hard uh i let my dishes really go and i i think i god it must have been like an hour and a half of just washing dishes and also uh, pots and pans and stuff. Like it was, it was bad. It was bad. Like I don't have an issue with like doing laundry. Oh, speaking of which, I don't hear my laundry going, so my bed sheet should be clean. Awesome. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't like doing laundry or whatever because I just don't bother folding it. Because I'm like, eh, whatever. COVID. Who gives a shit? I'm in quarantine. Like probably when uh, the summer comes around and when vaccine has been distributed out more, I'll probably fold it. But until then, I'm like, no one's seen this. <laughs> I'm not dating anyone. <laughs> this shit, I'm just gonna just keep this and just whatever, who gives a shit? So, uh, but yeah, it's like whenever it's like it comes to doing the dishes, I just can't bring myself to do it. Because I just hate it. I am never going to, I, I am never going to take a washing machine for granted ever again. Holy shit. Not yet, anyway, but be ready for me to now. Yeah, center gate, there was fucking more. Cause they they meet up with you. How the fuck do I get over there now? Good evening. Hey Jade, how you doing? And oh shit, it is the evening. I never remember what time it is anymore. <laughs> Cause everything's just whatever now, like. 
Oh, no, I did come here. And then, yeah, I... I remember there being, like, a fuck ton of... Because I followed the pathway. Because there's that way. Yeah, that's why it felt like forever. Because you go the wrong way, and then it does take forever. Okay, baby, I'll flute my hair over your fault spot. <laughs> oh, that bald spot. Fuck that bald spot. For whatever reason, my brain when Shulk just said backslash. For whatever my reason, my brain was just like, yo, he said bald spot. Fucking kill him. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag relationship goals. Not bad. Not bad at all. The craziest thing, though, is that it's just like everywhere else, besides like the top of my head, my hair is stupid thick. It is dummy thick. Like, it is straight up himbo thick. Like, it is that dense of a forest everywhere else. Except for the top of my head, and it's just like... What the fuck, hair? So there's a part of me that I'm just like... There's a part of me that's just like, you know, I can easily get, like... Like, with the amount of hair that I have, getting a hair transplant... Wouldn't do, like... You wouldn't be able to tell at all that I got a hair transplant. Like, that's how much hair I have. I'm almost to nice level. Nice. But yeah, like, if, like, straight up, because, like, the back of my head and the side of my head, it has so much hair. Like, if I were to legitimately just be like, eh, fuck it, I'll go spend the, like, thousand or some a few thousand dollars to get uh, a hair transplant. Which I might, because I really don't like it. I really don't like my hair. And I, I like, I, I know I won't look good bald, which is another issue. Fox has a plant on his head. No, I don't have a plant on my head. I, I did, well, I mean, I guess. Fox is a Pikmin. Uh, only if you, only if the Pikmin is bald and the flower sprouts from the sides and the back of the head. Why hasn't Nintendo done that? <laughs> Give us a balding Pikmin, like instead of the the flower sprouting off the top of the head, have it sprout from the side. Give us, give us a balding Pikmin. Give that to us. I want to see that now. Here's my life, I'd honestly have to end my- No! You just wouldn't look good. <laughs> I mean, there are definitely some people who look really fucking good bald. I know that I'm not one of those people. Which is why it's infuriating. Which is why I might end up doing, like, hair transplant. But that's years down the line. You know, when I have money. <laughs> Pictures of rock with flowing tar- Yes! That's- that's what I want, but make- but make the top vault. That's all I want. That is what I want on a Pikmin. Like, give that to me. Give that to me. The other thing, though, is that I have seen- Oh my god. Where- When I lived back in Canada. Uh, back home. Uh, I went, this was early on in COVID time, and, uh, so, like, people were still, uh, it, was, it wasn't too bad where I lived, so there were still plenty of people who weren't wearing masks, which was infuriating to me, because I wore, like, I would wear a mask if I was around people, and going on a trail, you would see a fuck ton of people, so I was wearing a mask just constantly. But there, I still remember, there was this buff old dude with like back of the chest hair and he had like the same bald pattern as me 
and he had it braided up and I'm like, oh my God, this man is just emanating so much fucking energy and it looked good on him. And I'm like, how did you pull this off, sir? How did you do this? How can you even do such a thing? Like, it was crazy. It's like, how does one get to be such an age and look so good while going, while having like a bald spot on his head? How does one pull that off? That's all I want to know. Fuck you. Okay, we got a chain attack. I am gonna... I hate nebulas. Oh, he does resist that. Oh, shit. Yeah, we're not. Our tension is not high enough to get anything. If I had, had like I, I hate these things have, you can't be toppled. You were just an asshole. That is some bullshit. The other thing is that these things explode. Oh, why is there a red one? Oh, I have to be very careful. If I use, if I use heal, or if Ricky does, oh God, I, I use the cone attack. See, it exploded. No one likes that. That's what I hate about that. Oh, he has 85. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh no. No, not a chance in hell. Oh yeah, there was just this old dude who just had luscious locks and could pull it off. And I'm like, fuck, I wanna, when I'm that old, I wanna be able to pull that off. But I don't, I like, I honestly think that I'm gonna end up getting uh, a hair transplant at some point. Also, Jade, I just saw, I just saw, cause again, Twitch isn't telling me that you hosted. So Jade, thank you so much for hosting. I really appreciate it. I'm still angry at you, Twitch. For not telling me. Oh, no, it's collectibible. It's a collectibible. Uh, I'm actually going to immediately put that into my thing. Ether up. Yeah, that's... Dilemma rock. <laughs> oh my god, that's actually adorable. <laughs> you have a dilemma rock. Can you imagine just being... It's just like... People are just like, oh, what's... It's like, oh, that's a really nice rock. What is it? It's my dilemma. <laughs> I hold on to it when I have a dilemma. Just picked up this game. Any tips? Uh, have fun. It is a fantastic game with a fantastic story. Honestly, just go around, collect as many quests as you can and then just run around and do stuff because you will end up completing them. And also, K-Dog, how are you doing today? Take your time. Take your time is a big one because this is a big game. So just take your time while playing it and just have fun. Yeah, I knew that there were these boys over here. Oh God, those two notes. Oh God, those two notes were the same as Roxas's theme. Oh God, I just, oh God, all I got was Roxas's theme stuck in my head. Mm, God damn it.
Okay, awesome, thanks. Looks great. The, oh God, the game is so much fun. This is, honestly, Xenoblade Chronicles is my favorite game of all time. Like, that's how much I love this game. Like, my, my game, like, my favorite game of all time for the longest time was Mass Effect. And then Xenoblade came along. I didn't even, I never wanted Xenoblade. Because the only reason why I bought it was way back when, um, like way back when, when Operation Rainfall was a thing to get the game, to get Xenoblade, Pandora's Tower, and uh, the last story over outside of Japan. And Xenoblade Chronicles was the first one to get localized. So I was like, hey, I want to show Nintendo that it's like, people want it. So I ended up buying it because I was like, I, I, it's like, this is one of the games. It's like, it, what, this was the one game out of the three that I'm like, eh, whatever, I don't really care. And then I, I bought it, I played through it, and it became my favorite game of all time. Like, I love this game that much. And Mass Effect uh, was my favorite game for a very long time because it literally saved my life. Because I, like, that was the first time I finally found out that I'm like, oh my God, games can be so much more and you can tell so many stories and like it was able to literally save me. So that was why I loved it. Oh, I totally remember that. Operation Rainfall? Yeah. That was a thing. Because everyone wanted... Like, this was at a time when the, the Wii had nothing. Oh, all these boys are not letting me get back there. Wait, how did it save you? Uh, so I was... Uh, I played through Mass Effect when I was 12, oh Jesus, done ban. I didn't notice how little health you had. Please have some health. Um, way back when I was like 12 or something and 12 year olds are fucking vicious. So back, way back when, when I was like 12 and we're gonna fucking die. Um, Back, back then was when I started to really deal with my uh, ADD and stuff. And um, so what would happen was I would have a point where I'm just like, the, the stuff in school was just so easy for me that doing it, I felt was stupid. I still fail that way for a lot of things. Um... And it's just like on tests and stuff for years and years and years and years, I would be like 80, 90 or perfect. Like, and I didn't do any homework. The teachers were always stupefied by it. And it's just like, cause it's easy. So eventually in um, grade seven, um, I ended up getting uh, to the point where it's like, they were forcing me to do the homework. So I didn't do homework for months and months and months. And then they were like, okay, we're gonna force you to do this stuff because you have to do it. And I'm like, but that's dumb. And like my mom forced me to do it because of course she's going to. <laughs> and um, so it really got to the point where it's like, I wouldn't do it. Like I, I, because I was just like, this is dumb sort of thing. And eventually, um, it got to the point where it's like, I'd have so much work to do where attention deficit disorder for the people. Yes, attention deficit disorder. I don't I don't have the hyperactive version, which is very easy to uh, detect and uh, not treat. What's the what's the word for detect that I'm trying to think of that doctors use? I don't know what it is, but um, Identify? Uh, whatever. That thing. That word. Whatever the fuck. Um, and so it got to the point where I just 
Diagnose, thank you. Where I, where it's like, uh, like I wasn't diagnosed with it. I wasn't, here's the thing. Uh, actually, no, we'll get to that bit eventually. <laughs> so, um, yeah, um, it got to the point where it's like, I'd have so much homework and it's like, I would be doing it constantly. Like I would be in my room doing homework that they're forcing me to do that I didn't need because I understood the material and I understood how to do it. So I was stuck doing it for days on days on days on weeks on weeks on weeks. And eventually it got to the point where I'm just like, Saturday I would just take off and like try to relax and stuff because I'm like, this is just too much. Like as a child, I was like, there's just too much. I just, I need, I need to like take a breather. So, um, I would end up like taking Saturday just to be like, most of Saturday, if not the whole day, just to like relax and like try to just relax as a small child. Um, eventually, uh, and then Sunday with like, <laughs> it would always happen. I would start to stress out because I'm like, oh God, my teachers want this, this, and this done for Monday. And it's like, well, fuck, I can't get that done. So I'd stress myself out trying to get it done. And then I would end up giving myself a migraine and that migraine would last for three days. Or I would end up getting like a very severe headache. Um, and that is, what triggered my migraines and stuff was me stressing myself out. And uh, so because I wasn't diagnosed with attention deficit disorder, everyone thought I was faking, including my parents. My parents thought I was faking. Um, so it's just like I constantly get in more and more shit and it's just like felt like the world was just against me for two fucking years and 12 year olds and 13 year olds really know how to twist the knife. Like they really know how to twist a knife. So, um, long story short, I lost every single person who was my friend or who at least I considered was a friend because they were constantly just like, no, you're faking, you're faking, you're faking. It's like, no, I'm not. Um, and yeah, I ended up becoming suicidal because of that at fucking 12. And I ended up having like a knife to my throat, a knife on my chest, like daily. Never told a single person. And honestly, I was fucking lucky because there was just one day where that, like there was always one brain cell. Not bad at all. Did you figure out love so <laughs> Lucy, I've never... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> but there, were, there was always this one brain cell that it's like... There were many days where I was ready. Where I was just like, I was ready to end it. There was always one brain cell that was just like, no, don't. Uh, and... Uh, that one brain cell was like the one thing that literally kept me going because I love the game so much was literally Mass Effect because it was literally the game that kept me going because it's just like I love the characters I love the world and I always like it, it just something about it just let me stay alive for long enough for my for that one brain cell to like flip the switch on every other brain cell where it's just like it doesn't matter what these people say it doesn't matter what blah 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 all that stuff but the main thing was uh the one the one thing that got me was the it literally showed me an image of my mom crying over my body and that was something I didn't want to do. I did not want to make her go through that. And that is literally, like, Mass Effect literally kept me alive long enough for my brain to figure that out. 
and I was just like, and it's like from that point on, I was just like, no matter what happens, no matter what any of these fucking people say, I don't give a shit. Their opinion doesn't matter to me. What they, when they're just like, oh, well, it's just like, you're faking blah, 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 and all this other shit. It's just like, you're wrong and I don't give a shit. Like, it was, it was just that one image of my mom that I was just like, I, like, so I was like, at a point where it, it was, it, it's, it's so weird because it was literally a light switch that flipped. And it was, it was one of the, like, like that's, that's the only way that I can describe it. Because it's like from that point on, I didn't want to kill myself. Like it was literally a flip of a switch. Like I, I was suicidal for years. And that one image that my brain, that one brain cell that hung on to dear life and was just like, no, there are good things in this world. There are fun things in this world that kept me going because of yes. fucking Mass Effect. Because, because of the, oh God, the, it's weird to explain it for this. It was literally like the characters and stuff because it's like for the longest time I always thought that video games were like an escape and that was it and they couldn't really tell a story or there wasn't anything really much to them other than what is it video game go burr and it was mass effect that showed me what is it and it made me want that was another thing that mass effect did it made me want to live because it wasn't just a thing that distracted me long enough for me to be like, oh, hey, no, it was a thing that made me want to live because it was it was the reason why I wanted to get into game development. Where the fuck is this quest giver? <laughs> um, it was it was the main reason why I wanted to get into game development, because it, I finally got to see I'm like, there can be a story. There can be a grander tale to video games. It doesn't just have to be like this one note story of like a hero saving a princess or whatever. It's just like, there were so many things that could be done. And it's just like it, I wanted to make a video game. So it's like, that's why I kept going because I wanted to be able to tell stories and stuff because I had always like, even when I was younger, I always liked uh, writing and stuff and making stories up and just to do that stuff. But it's like, that was, that was the thing that like helped me keep going until my brain was like, this is the one thing that you don't want. Like it was the one thing in the world and it still is that I don't want to think about. Like I don't want to ever know that is just like, I caused so much pain to my mom. That is the one thing. Like, no matter how tough it gets for me, that is the one thing. Like, if I, I, I have never felt suicidal, like I have been depressed, but I have never gotten to that point because there is still that just permanent image in my head of like, me in a coffin and my mom crying over my dead body. Like that image pops in whenever there is the inkling and it immediately just flips my brain. Not to be not depressed, but just to be like, mm, killing yourself is not the answer. I just wanted to have a box save the country for the evil ne nebula. Wait, what? <laughs> so like when I, son of a bitch. Like when I was doing game development, because that was the one thing I wanted to do so badly. And then when my body just couldn't fucking deal with it, uh, just because of the, because as it turns out, I need uh, sleep. <laughs> um, that ended up being one of the hardest decisions to say goodbye to. And it's just like, because there was a part of me that was so frustrated and so upset that it's just like, 
the one thing that I wanted to do in the game industry, like if I were to get there, was to, and I would never know if it did, but I was like, if I could make a game that helps someone the way that Mass Effect helped me, then that was what I would like lay my life on. So it's like having to give up that dream was terrifying. And it fucking sucked. I don't have anything like that, but when it gets mad cold, my scar on my wrist is visible. Like some secret ink or something. Yeah, there's... From people who I've spoken to who have been suicidal, there's always like... Like, there are definitely pe times and people who it's just like, it gets too much and it's like, they unfortunately end up going through with it. But it's like the people who are like able to like stop themselves and be like, no, there's something for them that stops them. And for me, it's always going to be that image. But, um, so yeah, it's just like going and then going through the last couple years of school, of elementary school, of grade seven and eight, mostly grade eight, where I was just like, I don't give a shit about any of these people. Uh, it's just like, they're not my friends, they're not anything to me, I don't give a damn. Let's go. You dare challenge and you then in grade nine... God, I don't even know how this happened. It's been you and the rest, baby. Oh, Lucy, you know how much I... You... Oh my god, you... Like, you... I don't even know how to really express that. How much that means to me like it, it legitimately makes me smile so fucking much i know it doesn't sound like it it's mostly because i'm just dealing with things and stuff and this is obviously a really heavy subject to go on but yeah in sometime in grade nine um that's what happened um, because of how many headaches and migraines I was having, and fuck you, Nebula! Um, I was eventually referred to a specialist for headaches and stuff. And it's just like, when I spoke to- where the hell are you going? And when I spoke to him, he was like, he's like, this sounds like- Attention Deficit Disorder. And it's just like, he diagnosed me with Attention Deficit Disorder, and he's like, because of, like, the Attention Deficit Disorder and stuff, and it's just like, he's just a smart kid, it's just like, he never saw any need to do any of the work, because he just instinctively knew it and all that stuff, which was true. He's going, this fucking bitch is going to explode. Oh, he killed him! I have a million dishes piled up and I almost let it all drop when I type that. Don't drop the dishes! But no, I know, I know, I know what you mean. So it was, so when I was finally diagnosed, it was just... It was so good because people didn't think I was faking it anymore. Like, the, one of the worst things was that I had to deal with uh, a teacher that refused to do anything to help me out in grade eight. I still, I still remember this vividly. I was told um, by my homeroom teacher, because what they were doing um, at my school was that um, in grade seven and eight, uh, just to get you used to, like, what high school would be like, um, they had us, uh, go from, uh, like, we had our homeroom 7th grade teacher, and there was one other 7th grade teacher with the other half of, like, my grade, and we would swap, uh, teachers for, like, a couple hours, like, twice or three times a week or some shit, and, uh, this bitch... 
um, constantly just gave me so much shit. Like, there was one day, so there was a group assignment <laughs> um, where you had to come up with some sort of um, routine, like exercise routine. Um, for whatever reason, I don't know, to music. And uh, I came in and I found out about this. She didn't tell me anything about it. Like I found out because my friends were just like, oh yeah, this is a thing that we're doing. And I'm like, oh, thanks for telling me. And I was just like, I don't have a group. <laughs> and then they were just like, like these were the couple of people who like were like still f like my friends in elementary school. It's like we eventually drifted apart, but it was just like these were the last couple people who were like, yeah, no, nope, friends. And, um... Oh god, I need to attack this one, boy. So they were like, yeah, no, join, oh no. Hmm. I'm gonna have to take a look at, oh god, no, they're all... Oh, I didn't want to warn Ricky! I wanted to revive. Oh, sweet Jesus, I am dead. If I can just kill one... ...and run... That'll be- oh god. Why are you attacking? Oh, because I didn't- I don't mind. Okay, good. Uh... Run, 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 run. Take me away, take me away, take me away, take me away! So... So this one teacher just gave me so much shit. I still remember this, and I'll always remember it. Is, uh, my homeroom teacher, she gave me some things. And she's like, okay, go bring this to Bitch McGee, teacher. And basically just have her sign on here just so that I know that it's like you showed it to her because apparently I was a fucking problem child at school. <laughs> and um, so I go over there and it's like I show her it and I'm like, this is from homeroom teacher. And it's like she said that it's like you need to sign uh, on the paper just so that she knows that I gave it to you. And she's like, okay. Looks at the things, gives it back to me. It's like, okay, you can go back. I'm like, okay. So I go back, I give it to her. And uh, a homeroom teacher looks at it and it's just like, it's not signed. I'm like, what do you mean? And she's like, it's not signed. I'm like, I gave it to her. And I said, it's just like, you said to have her sign it. And then, so she brings me over to Bitch McGee teacher. And Bitch McGee teacher is just like, no, he never did. He never said any of that. And I'm, and I said straight up, I'm like, you're lying. And she's like, and then both of these were like, how dare you? And I'm like, how dare I? And I'm like, I literally told you and you refused to do it. I'm like, how is this fair to me, the student? And then they're just like giving me all this sorts of just generic bullshit. Oh, I am definitely dead. And I'll always remember that because I literally just wanted to be like, you're a fucking bitch. Um, I'm definitely gonna run. We, we got rid of one of them, so I'm gonna run away and then come back. That doesn't help me. And so this was also at a time when it's just like, my mom didn't believe in me and all the stuff that I was saying about migraines and stuff. So it's like, I never told her about it, about the stuff that it's just like the teachers were doing to me because that sort of stuff was constant. Also, uh, I didn't fucking finish this about uh, the group thing. So, uh, Bitch McGee teacher, was so I was just like oh miss it's just like is it okay if I join them because it's just like they were all every single one every single person was in like a group of three or some shit and 
I called the teacher a loser to his face once and then he left. I, I was ready to just be like, you're a fucking bitch and you're lying right to my face after you acknowledge that you heard me say that you need to sign them. So fuck you, you're a bitch. Like I wanted to say that so badly to her face. Um, and during the group like workout assignment thing to music, I was like, miss, is it okay? There, It's like there, no other group has, it's like every single group has three people. So would it be okay if I joined them? And she's like, no, you have to be in a group of three. I'm like, but there are no groups of three. It's like, then you'll have to be in a group by yourself. I'm like, then that defeats the purpose of a group of three now, doesn't it? You just stated that I need to be in a group of three, but I'm in a group of one. So how the hell does that work, ma'am? Oh God, she pissed me off so much. Like if I could go back with like the balls that I have now. Ow. And just fucking tell her off. Because it's like, I've gone, I've gone to like, I wouldn't necessarily say like therapist, but it's just like, I've, I've spoken to like people who is just like, oh, it's just like, you have to forgive her and stuff. I'm like, no, I will never forgive her. If I ever see her, I will punch her in the face. And that is the only way I will ever feel good is by punching her in her face. It's like at no point, it's like there will be nothing else in life that will make me feel good. Oh, okay, I, I was scared there. I was like, oh, Jesus. I had the aggro. <laughs> but yeah, it was just like, I, like... Shield, or speed. I sort of had that for a while until I just had the teachers that I despise. Fine. We're gonna die. I don't. Hey, we did it! Finally! Sort of had that for a while until I just uh, told the teachers that I despise both group projects and presenters, so I've dodged all of those. <gasps> Aerith gear! Yay! I'm the nice level in Xenoblade now. Nice. Boss dude, I needed to fight his level 70. Yeah, it, there are some, there are definitely some uh, level jumps in this game that it's just like, oh, I was not ready for that. <laughs> Saint Ro well, we don't have Melia with us, so can't give that to her. I'm pretty sure I know what boss you were, you're supposed to be fighting at level 70, but again, don't <laughs> for spoiler reasons. Why is there so many fucking high level monkeys around? Uh, we got Aerith gear. I fucking love it. Do we have? No, I need it. Oh God, the Aerith gear is so fucking good. It looks so good. Ah, uh, well, it's there, but I also have it undone banned, so I'm not gonna swap. I legit don't remember his name anyway. Well, that helps us. Um, fuck, I don't really have many good things for Shulk. Either defense up is pretty good. Are you that? But yeah, it's like. All of that shit happened to me as a kid. Oh, it's a star shower! Fuck you, story quest! Also, I'm a little low leveled if this actually. No! And that is the extent of my discussions with the Homs that accompanied Melia here. I still cannot believe it. How could a Telethia have grown to such power? Oh, to look at the star shower. And what is your conclusion, Seer? That the Telethia were able to gain such power due to the high levels of ether in the region. In other words, our ether protection is weakening. And so it begins. The resurrection of the Bionis. 
What of the Monado? I cannot see. My sight is hindered. However... Speak, seer. It is not certain that the Monado will bring about our destruction. While my sight is hindered, I have seen a sliver of light. Is your majesty not aware of this light as well? Man, there's a part oh, in this game that I'm thinking of and I'm like, fuck, it's still like 15 man, hours away. Sure. Could it be that the boy is trustworthy after all? Kalyan, we are on the cusp of a significant moment. The investiture ceremony must take place as soon as possible. Your majesty, since the ministries are already in agreement, we may be able to bypass some of the formalities. Indeed. But she must still earn the blessing of the people. Might I suggest the trial of the tomb? The first consort. Such a ritual has not been conducted for generations. I still love the Bulbas. It's like a viewing party just for him. Honestly, I think I might have yes, sad Bulbasaur on screen and whenever I'm just more than not feeling good <laughs> because it's Mother, literally just dangerous. my mood just Our records yeah, I'm not okay but I'm doing my best their lives performing the ritual I heard that there's a star shower that child fought and beat Wait, the telepia CG? what it is my belief no baby me, it's really pretty enough. besides if it was revealed that she avoided such a responsibility my brain doesn't know what CG is her reputation short for. among the people would be irreparably damaged. I probably do in the moment that you type out what it is sprinkles I'm no, gonna be like oh fuck that's right is right there is much risk but the rewards are greater it would seal the people's love for her summon Melia her thoughts must be heard can I can I see the pretty star shower? Cutscenes, I appreciate you. I love you, game, but... I accept. If I am to lead the High Entia, despite my mixed heritage, if I am to succeed the throne, then I accept what must be done. Oh, we describe it? It's I a piece of art. nothing less of my successor. The path to greatness is fraught with a danger. CG is a CG this to me. Oh, shall no. be your statement to Bionis. Yes, your majesty. You are not fit to be Empress. Not now, not ever. Hmm. New racism. C equals Jimmy G equals neutral. <gasps> the star shower's in the background! <gasps> Looks like we got them out of a scrape. Shulk! Ricky tired! Oh, this makes this cutscene so much more pretty. Now. Good idea. Let's head back to the capital. The sooner the better. Look at it. It's so gorgeous. Fuck. I never actually took time to appreciate. Ha ha. Hold on. pretty this is oh. holy fuck hold on can I get a better picture Fucking trees. <laughs> Isn't that just the fucking like life of a photographer? Just fucking trees. It's actually, wait a minute. Fuck, put this on a goddamn postcard. <laughs> Welcome to Aerith Sea. Fucking gorgeous. I forgot that I could go into first person and do this. It's so pretty. Ah! I love it. Oh my God. 
It's so pretty. I remember, yeah, <laughs> seeing racism in Xenoblade, it's like, oh, uh, excuse me? Of GOG streams when it comes out just for, wait, what? Game of Thrones? God, I haven't thought about Game of Thrones in fucking ages. I haven't seen the final season. All I know is that everyone hates it. <laughs> and there's a Starbucks cup in it. Oh, it's daytime, so now it's gonna disappear. Oh, Ghost of Tsushima. <laughs> Ghost of Tsushima, oh god. That is a game that I want to play at some point. I obviously can't right now because I'm in Scotland and I don't have a PS4 or a PS5. Wait, I heard about the Starbucks Cup. Yeah, I saw That's like the only thing about uh, Game of Thrones that I know about and that I heard the last season of Game of Thrones because I saw a picture of that. And I'm just like, oh man, that sucks. Because you really feel for um, just all of, all everyone involved in that. Because, uh, the thing though is, is that it's just like, you look at, uh, even, um, Everyone, let's go. No, fuck, don't hold back. You uh, who you? Ricky used an ether skill. I didn't realize Ricky had ether skills. That was why we kept getting hit by them. Uh, even in, uh, The Mandalorian. There is uh, the scene in season two where the crew is basically just shooting up some, uh, this one like Imperial station. And in the background, it's incredibly brief, but you can see um, one of the stagehands or like just a staff member. Uh, you can see him in the background just wearing jeans and have a watch. And it's just really funny just to see it really be out of place. I don't like what I've heard about. Yeah. Most Uncanny Valley thing to be there. Yeah. The other thing is, okay, I don't... There's, there's at the very... I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be talking about what it is because it's season finale for Mandalorian 2. Or season 2. Uh, fucking hell, fucking exploding bitch. Um, there is uh, a scene in like the very last episode of Mando season two, where I am positive it was not edited. <laughs> and I'm just like, cause it looks so different from every other scene. Uh, and I'm just like, mm, this doesn't look edited. <laughs> I like if it's intentional like Brand New Animal did. I sent it to you on Discord. Well, let me see. Oh, it's the, it's, isn't this just a background art? But holy shit, it's pretty. But yeah, it's, <laughs> it was definitely not intentional, but it's just so funny to see just, Jean wearing man. <laughs> One of them is. Uh, I was hoping someone would hit him and I'd be able to just continue in the fucking days. The one with Belphegor and Lucy is a CG. I'm gonna have to go online and find out what a CG is. Let's do this. Make it a swift victory. I, oh God, I love Ricky and him just thinking we're sidekicks. It's so cute. Oh, 
I should still get the armor. Yes, good. But, oh god, my brain. My brain is starting to go. I don't know how much longer we'll stream, just because, again, my brain is starting to go, so... How long have we been streaming? Two and a half hours! That's honestly longer than what I thought I'd end up hitting. I thought I'd only be able to stream for like an hour or so. So being able to hit two and a half before my brain started to shut down upon itself, that's a good thing. It means I'm doing a lot better than I thought I was. Which actually does make me quite happy. That is money I needed. <laughs> I need that money. Critical? Critical up. Ooh. C equals couch equals girl. Hold on, let me see. Art CG. What happened? What, what does Google tell me? When I type in art CG. CG artists, no, also known as computer graphics artists, create 2D and 3D assets. What Wikipedia says. CG art, what it, what it is and what CG artists do. Computer generated images. So it's computer generated. I mean, that sounds about in line with, it's not CGI. See, yeah, CGI is different. Yeah, I was not looking at it being like, oh, CGI. That was not at all what my brain was thinking. We can't lose. But I am just like, huh. Make it a swift victory. Why did I not think? computer generated <laughs> like it's one of those things that you're just like why did I not actually after I'm definitely gonna teleport away from this fight because fuck boy there oh we got we got it mm, do I I want the chest <laughs> This messenger has a bunch of, uh, oh my god. Messages as well. Some of which are really pretty. I am not in the correct position at all. I should have been here while doing that. What happened to my just kaboom? Ah, a thousand damage on him? That's actually not terrible. I mean, the best thing to do for this boy would be to, like, hit Daze and then immediately go into, uh, Link Attack. Oh, that was a rare item too, so I'm actually glad I did. Also, I wanted to- wrong button! Yeah. It's- oh god, Aerith C is huge, because it's like- I already feel like I've gone around a lot, but it's like, you've gone fucking nowhere! Sorry, the most recent content, it's definitely questionable, but wow, the CGs are pretty. You gotta love that questionable content. Mm, yeah, I'm, I'm starting to feel my brain go. Yeah, I think I might stop streaming right now. Cause my brain, my brain not doing too good. It did, it, I, congratulations to my brain for going as long as it did. God damn it. But yeah, because I can, I can feel myself starting to slip. And I'm just like, I know I'm just going to start babbling and be like, re like it, it's going to dip down in quality <laughs> the farther we go. Because I still need to eat some food. Um, I'm also just incredibly tired and just dealing with stuff. Like, I'm in, I'm, I've been in a burrito blanket this whole time. I can send you one CG. Oh, absolutely. Definitely send me, like, any CG. <laughs> Because the ones that you've, like, literally sent me are so fucking pretty. They're just so pretty. But yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna end the stream here. 
Um, the the one nice thing about today was that it's just like I I feel like I'll be good to go tomorrow and stream for hopefully I'll be good to stream uh, Mystery Dungeon. Give us some sweet rambling. Tell us about the story of our love now. <laughs> But it's like tomorrow, I th I think I'll be fine to stream Pokemon Mystery Dungeon and finish it, hopefully, or at the very least finish it Monday. But it's like I think I think I'll be good enough to stream those two days uh, for Mystery Dungeon and do voices and stuff. But I just I really needed to just chill. This was this was something I just needed. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, I'm gonna get out of here. Um, is there anyone on Twitch that we can raid? Just because I'm trying to, is there anyone on right now? No, there's no one on. I'm upset. <laughs> I'm upset. I'll be able to be there if it's on Monday. Well, I'm hoping, uh, Lucy, how much longer of Mystery Dungeon do we have, do you think? Because the way that it seems, it only seems like it's going to be, uh, like, maybe five more hours if I get good RNG. Might end up being six-ish. Like, I don't think I don't think we're that far off to the end because it seems like that they're just putting us in places. Not much. But you all know the song that I cried to when you hear it. So yeah, if it's not much, then we should be able to finish it tomorrow then. We're right at the end kind because of, I know that you guys had mentioned that it's like the post-game story is really good too. Like you don't have that much. Yeah, so it's like I should be able to do it by I should be able to finish it tomorrow. I should be able to. Couple of hours only? Yeah, so I should be able to finish it then. So a few dungeons left. Yeah, and it's just like I'm over leveled too, so I should yeah, we should be able to finish it tomorrow. Ow. But yeah, we should we should be able to finish it. Or just a really long one. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, that there's... Because the way that it seems like, it's like maybe we have two dungeons, and that'll be it. With a short... Yeah, because that, that's what I'm kind of thinking. I'm I'm thinking that there will be, like, a short-ish dungeon, and then, like, the final big-ass dungeon. Uh, Post-game story is essentially main game story, but it hits different? What? Okay. But yeah, I am... Yeah, we'll we'll try we'll try to beat uh Mystery Dungeon tomorrow. Um Yeah, I there's no one I know on and I don't I don't want to make a new friend right now, you know. I'm just not I'm just not in it. I'm just tired and exhausted. Ex fucking excuse me. No. No, 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 no. no. Oh no! Fuck you! Fuck you! <laughs> God, it, yeah. you really like Earth Sea is one of the few places in Xenoblade that I always for yeah. Ricky had X's for eyes. Oh, that's cute. That's ominous. Well, that's Prison Island. But the one thing, though, is that I always forget about how pretty uh, Aerith Sea looks. It's the one place that I always forget at just how gorgeous it is. So, yeah. I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to go lie down. I'm going to eat some food. Um, and tomorrow we'll play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. So, yeah, I hope... Everyone has a fantastic rest of their day and also happy new year to everyone. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow where we play Mystery Dungeon and where we'll, we'll probably, I'm, I'm going to finish it. I'm going to finish it tomorrow.
It was also clipping. Wait, it was also clipping. Oh God. But yeah. So I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna lie down. I'm gonna rest. What is this static in my ear? The wind. And now you don't hear it, right? Because it was literally the wind. Yeah, so I'm going to get out of here. Lucy, thank you so much for linking the socials. Um, I hope that everyone has a fantastic rest of their day. And I <laughs> get out of here, you bitch. I'll show you two more of my favorites. Okay, Sprinkles. Because, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very looking forward to them. Uh, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to go lie down, drink some water. Uh, also, you guys, drink some water. Water's good. Uh, also eat some food, because I'm going to do that too. Uh, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, everybody.